Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and just a little uh, little updates of what I've been doing to my YT Izzo. Uh, so first thing you notice is the nice blue blue pedals that I got uh, recently. And I'm gonna be upgrading the front chain ring to, I'm gonna downsize from a 32 to a 28. Uh, in doing so, I'm gonna do a little uh, intro and a little how-to on this uh, video as well. So it'll help everybody that's running the SRAM NX uh, crank set here, the dub. Um, and how to get this off, because it's, uh, it's pretty simple, but uh, if you don't know what you're doing, it, it, it becomes... Uh, it becomes very difficult. Uh, did a little research myself, and I just want to give you a little uh, a little intro into it as well, uh, just in case you're having trouble with it and you can't find it anywhere online or YouTube. Uh, so uh, here we go. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can make it easier for all you guys uh, wanting to downsize your. Your front chain ring and you don't know how to take your your crank set apart so the first thing you're going to want to do is over here on this side of the crank there's going to be a little wing nut piece right here can you see i'm trying to see if i can now there's a little bolt here that we're trying to find if we spin this See, I've loosened it off now. Okay. So now that you see that little bolt that's right there, I'll point it out. I'm in the right location here. I don't want to mess you guys up too much. Okay, there we go. So there's a little bolt right there. You can see it from my mailing key. You got to back that little bolt off. Can you see that? Trying to make sure you can, everyone can see that part right there. Now, if you have to unscrew that with uh, the Allen key, it's a really small, looks like a two millimeter, if I'm not, I could be wrong. I'm trying to see what it says here on the, on, well, it's the smallest one on the Crank Brothers, uh, um, Allen key set so it's, it's quite small so anyhow you back that little bolt out there and then you spin that loose so spin it loose all the way out and then you come over to this side now what you have to do is I've already put the chain in the lock position from from the uh, annex SRAM uh, driller. It's got the locking pin on the one side here. And so what you have to do is you have to take your Allen key provided from YT. <laughs> and I'm just going to get you set up here. Forgive me if I lose you. But, uh, Sorry if I'm making everybody dizzy. It's a new tripod, so I'm, I'm having some fun with it right now. Just trying to learn how to use it a bit more. So here we go. So uh, we've got our Allen key in the uh, in the crank hole position, and there's an Allen key bolt in there. So what you want to do is you want to back this off. Now it was quite tight when I uh, when I unloosened it the first time. It says it's got a 54 newton meter. Uh, it has to be tightened up to 54 newton newton meters. But um, so it was quite tight to come off. So what you're what you want to do here is you want to take your Torx. And it's a torque bolt, so there's three torque bolts right here. And then uh, you slide this off, and then you put your 28 back on. 
and then you just do everything in reverse. So you put this all back on with your uh, with your Allen key. So, you don't have to worry about the chain not being in the chain ring because it'll slip over the pedal and onto your chain ring anyhow afterwards or remove the chain altogether. But so, after you tighten this back up tight, I'm just going to do it snug for now. Sorry. Uh, and then I'll show you, see, it's all simple that it could be. And then you come over here and you tighten that other bolt up and you swing it tight, uh, back to clockwise again. So over here, so you want to swing this back tight again, all finger threaded. Hopefully I'm helping you guys here. Once you get that into position and it's nice and tight, snugged up again, you find your bolt, wherever your bolt is on your, on your, uh, on your little keeper nut. Uh, you just find where the bolt is, you tighten that up, and then you come across here, you crank this up to 54 newton meters. If you have a, uh, a crank, uh, a torque setting, uh, wrench, which I don't have it. A big enough one for that but uh, <clears throat> I can assure you it'll be it'll be tight when I uh, when I go to install the new one so yeah I'm gonna be downsizing to a 28 tooth because I find the 30 the 32 is is a little too steep for me and what I want to do with it uh, we'll say this the 32 is for the young guys uh, the 28 is for the uh, for the older mature riders that uh, still want to climb and still chasing their youth. So yeah, I'll leave you with that and uh, hopefully that helped out and uh, made a little sense to you for, for those who want to uh, upgrade their uh, or you know change their chain rings on their mountain bikes. Uh, it's gonna cost uh, I think uh, about $120 for the new chain ring. Uh, maybe a little bit more with we'll, we'll tax. And then uh, it'll come in uh, next week. So hopefully I can have it then. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll have to uh, take a couple links out. Maybe a link or two. Uh, because I'm uh, losing two teeth. Or three teeth on my... Uh, my front chain ring actually four four teeth and so uh i may have to take out two links to compensate for the long chain on the 32 tooth but uh yeah that's something you have to do when you uh when you want to downgrade the front sprocket so take care guys uh hopefully that helped you guys if you if you have the same uh, NX SRAM dub uh, uh, bottom bracket and, and, and crank arms on your bike and and if you have a YT like me and you're uh, you're wanting to get a smaller chain ring from the front of your bike as well uh, that's how you do it so take care like share and subscribe if you want to uh, carry on with me um, I'm sure I've got more uh, content coming. Uh, we're into March here and you know it's uh, feeling we're getting that little false spring outside and uh, it's like 16 degrees out so it's a false spring but I'm sure there's another winter storm coming. Um, but uh, as soon as that's over I'll, I'll be out pedaling around so enjoy guys. We'll we'll catch you, we'll catch you on the next ones, and uh, you take care and be safe now. Bye bye.